Howdy, everybody. John Henderson here with the Beer Ramble. I'm trying to get this camera looking somewhat better, but I'm not using a light. I'm using basically the light here in, in this room here. Hopefully it helps out a little bit. But uh, anyway, um, again, Happy New Year to all of you. Another ramble. This time I'm doing wine. And we're doing Livingston Cellars Pinot Grigio. As you can see, I've taken a crack at it. Again, Happy New Year. Hopefully 2019 gives you blessings and joy and happiness. Believe me, I'm hoping the same thing as well. <coughs> so, Livingston Cellars Wine, part of the E&J Gallo family of wines. This wine here is... I can't see. And it is 11.5% alcohol by body. Okay. Had to make that out there. Just to be clear to people out there who are drinking. Uh, again, if you are watching this video on your day, it's or whatever. Um, but anyway, um, be careful out there. But anyway, um, yeah, Happy New Year to all of you. Um, Liz and Sellers uh, paid uh, $6.97 for this at Rear's Cash Saver. Um, in the first cash saver here in Mobile, in downtown. I wanted to do something to kind of celebrate the end of the year and also bring in the new year. Um, I love beer, but I'm slowly beginning to sort of 60, 40% become more wine and beer. I know. Sorry, somehow, sorry, folks. I just, mm, but old man, 43, I'll be 43 come. Uh, la, 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 January 26th, and yeah, age shows. So. Anyway, hopefully I'll be able to have a day off when I get to the school out. Here's what the wine looks like. Uh, very life here, a scent of grapes and flavoring. The best grapes, the best style. Light body with a light, light body, but a bit of a touch of sweetness to it. To have some wings with this and um, this earlier. Um, I remember one time I had bought a bottle of Pinot Grigio. And again, I very rarely drink a lot of clear white wines, mostly uh, reds than, um, you know, than whites. But you know, I get what I can get. You know what I mean? So, uh, so as I mentioned, some of the other videos I've been doing about wines, recently, I've been totally grabbing as far as the red wines are concerned, I've been gravitating more towards the red wine styles than anything, uh, than some of the whites. I mean, the, I mean, the red, gravitating more towards the sweeter red wines than the than um, sweeter or kind of semi-sweet, uh, like uh, Rionini Lombrosco or the uh, soft red by Colorossi, which is in their smaller bottles. And I think I even started to see bottles in this size of in this size of the Colorado, you know, smooth red or their uh, sangria or moscato. Besides, you know, the traditional Colorado, you know, jug that we tend to see in stores. But no, you know, food things I can eat with, you know, fried fish, but also I can eat with, you know, you know, pizza or you know, you know a nice, uh, you know, prime rib. Something like that. You know. Hot dogs, even. Hey, why not much on popcorn, right? So. And, and again, as I mentioned, you know, when you go to weddings, go to certain parties, I'm sure you're going to see this, you know, people, you know, you'll see the, you see the usual wines, you'll see the, you know, the, see the Pinot Grigios, you know, you see this, and, you know, the, the, you know, some, the drier whites, Chardonnays. You'll also see some of the, I know we're doing this. Uh, see some of the yeah, some like the Chianti, Mer Merlots, Cabernets, whatever. But most majority of the time, when you go into a wedding, folks love to gravitate towards those sweeter style of wines. 
That's just, just how it's, it's kind of how it goes. So all good. Everybody's different. Everybody has their different taste. Need the drier the wine, the better. The drier the red wine, the better. I got a bottle of burgundy. I'm gonna pop open sometime later. Whenever. So, um, yeah, I kind of like my glass. I said, more awesome, please. As you can see right here by the watering, more awesome, please. And yes, that's what I agree. More of this stuff pour down here. The Definitely getting some of those white grapes, tannins, a little bit of a, I'm not going to say raisin flavor, but it's a little bit of like a, a light, a very light sugary taste I'm getting to this. Um, who parents could put with this? I'm thinking more like a sort of a, uh, just a bowl of spaghetti with, you know, olive oil and Parmesan cheese would probably go good with this. If you want to add pesto to it, go right ahead. But I think that would probably go good with that. Um, um, something poultry comes to mind. A Cornish hen can go good with this. And even maybe something, you know, something spicy, I guess. I don't know. Something vegetarian. I, I'm not a big vegetarian. I'm, I'm not a vegetarian guy, but if you are into that, no, maybe a grilled, you know, grilled, you know, grilled veggie salad, or a sandwich with grilled, grilled veggies. And I've had those, you know, with eggplant, you know, a slice of, you know, provolone cheese, and you know, you have eggplant, you know, mushrooms, and squash, and zucchini, and all that, all those flavors. You know, brush with olive oil, and you add a little, not much, but a little balsamic vinegar, and you eat it on the pita bread, wrapped up, you know, or you know. Or, or tortilla bread, whatever it is, you know, and man, talk about really good. <sighs> Memories of home. Uh, grilled veggies, eggplant, toilets, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, eggplant, zucchini, squash, you know, red peppers, any sort of red, yellow, green peppers, you know, grilled up, you know, put into a pita bread, and there's your sandwich, man, with a little balsamic vinegar. I'm going to add a provolone slice of cheese, go right ahead, but maybe the balsam would be enough. But man, talk about delicious. And the Pinot will probably go good with that. So, um, so um, you, know, you know, they did a commercial uh, on not too long ago. I was looking at it on Sports Channel. About uh, you know about Michelob Ultra, Michelob Ultra trying to promote itself, you know, a little advertising saying that hey, our stuff is better, that you you know more healthier, more less calories than drinking a bottle of Chardonnay or you know, I I I, I don't know, I don't, if that's legit, if that's legit science or you know accurate information they put out, but you know, so hey, who knows. Um, but in any event, nice little wine again. Wine, I, I, I'm, I'm always been saying this forever, folks, just like with beer. Wine should be affordable. You know, wine's been around as long as beer, as long as water. You know, water's been around before long than beer and, wine, and beer and wine. Anyway, but like I said, wine should be affordable. It shouldn't really have to be, you know, hey, this group of people should get this. And this group should be drinking this. And if you look at the, the wines that uh, the stable of E&J Gallo Winery, what they put out, you know, from this to, you know, William Hill Estates uh, to Liberty Creek, you know, and even to Wild Vines Wines, um, you know, Naked Grape, I believe it is, is another one of their wines, too. Some well-known brands, you know, feeling like, hey, wine, yes, we know we have the well-to-do, but also let's make sure to look out for the guy or guy and gal in the middle, you know, who has the upper from the well-to-do 
very well to do to the upper class, to the medium middle class, and to the you know lower bottom shelf stuff. You know, you know wine should be affordable. It should be made reasonable to people like you and I. You know, to me, the most the level I'm buying wines, the, the highest I will go and pay for a bottle of wine. My limit will be twenty bucks. And after that, oh well, no matter what. But I don't uh, see myself, you know, paying twenty-five or thirty dollars a bottle for a certain wine. And if the wine is, you know, certain. Uh, you know, people like to age the wines, but you know, if the wine it has a, you know, well-known following. Yeah, but if it's, uh, I'm going to pay a lot of money for. And, Knowing that I'm going to guzzle it pretty quickly, it better be damn good for me for me to pay 25 bucks for it. You know, and if it is, that I'm gonna take maybe small sips of it, you know, and then that's it. I'm done. But um, but yeah, like I said, um, and if you look at all the ones the NJ Gallo, everything again, wine should be affordable to everyone. You know, reasonable prices, and this is reasonably priced for this size bottle. You know, six uh, six ninety seven plus tax comes up to like maybe seven fifty seven seven eighty. You know, a dollar and maybe fifty seventy cents for this bottle of wine. I mean, that's pretty damn good, in my opinion. You know, I think you made out pretty well for that. So, anyway, um, very enjoyable, very good. Um, again, you mentioned I mentioned the dishes you can have with this you know, pasta. You know. A creamy style pasta, Alfredo, you know, not, not, nothing tomato based. If it is doing something tomato based, then you gotta start to drink something red. But, but yeah, something like this would, would go would go good with that. So, uh, for the wine again, I you know, again my first score I'm gonna give you. It's I'm gonna give this wine a B plus for me. So this is very enjoyable, very good, B plus. For the Livingston Sellers Pinot Grigio. Johnny and Peter, the Beer Ramble team. Keep on watching the always. Cheers. Live, laugh, love. That's what I always say, right?